Maestro Gaming presents a Wobbly Wagon Wheel production about a nomad man. That man is the Gypsy King. Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to another Maestro Game production. And before I fast forward to the first game of today's episode, I thought I would cover a few things I missed at the end of the last one. So as you can see, Fury celebrates his birthday in style. We finally got our first win, of course, on Fury's birthday. We then have a bit of news on the injury front. So we'll skip over this one. The main one, of course, is Ariel Daniel. So, how long is he out? 11 days to 3 weeks. Gash upper leg. Not as bad as we thought, so I am glad about that one. Now, is Bazar going to be out for a while? That is the question. Bazar is out for 6 to 9 days. Poor growing. Okay, so we can handle those injuries. They're not as bad as once thought. I was very worried about finding out what they were going to be, and I'm sure you fine folks were too. But as you can see, we are seven days away from our next game, so I'm going to fast forward to that and I'll see you fine folks for that game in just a second. Okay, ladies and gents, welcome to our first game of today's episode. And as you can see, they are getting rather aggressive. They're going for a 4 3 3. So hopefully, we can exploit that in today's game. But our team, of course, is Dabala in goal. We have Subiara at left back. He is joined alongside Basara and Sanhuiza in central defence. Torres, of course, on the right hand side. Sepulveda is our defensive mid. Riviera and Hernandez remain in that centre to mid roll we have lemo on the left gonzalez of course replacing daniel for probably this game and the next he should be back by the next episode and then ganilla up front that means our bench consists of lara gutierrez rodriguez lopez bezar who he's got a little bit of fitness issues due to his injury but he's 80 80 so he's okay to come on as a substitute Aguilar and Marino. But without further ado, let's go talk to Jorge Gomez and see what he has to say. So, Mr. Jorge, he thinks we should challenge the team to pick up where they left off, and I think that is a reasonable idea. So, you know what? Passionately, lads. No, we can't do it passionately. Let's assertively. Go out there, carry on from where you did last match. Could have gone better. Maybe don't listen to my assistant so much. But it has motivated Hernandez. It didn't go down badly with anyone. So, mm, I mean, Gnar's deep in thought. Hopefully those are positive thoughts. But with Everton Davina not in action until after you play. Is this a prime opportunity for your side to perhaps take a step ahead in the battle to avoid the drop? Well, Jonathan Vargas of the Chilean Football Chronicle, an experienced but friendly enough fellow who has a great respect for us, as you can see, we have a one-point gap. Now, I'm not sure who their game is against. Same with Deport's Let's Arena. But I have a feeling they're probably going to at least draw maximum their games. So, with regards to any potential advantage as a positive, yeah. I regard any advantage as a positive. So, your Puerto Mond side hailed the relegation destiny in their hands can you take a step closer to first division survival today i hope so so as cabresal have the worst defense you must consider yourselves favorites to win well i don't think the bookies consider us favorites to win but i hope we are we're at home we're playing a team that we should be able to beat and as he said they have the worst defense so I think we're, hmm, that's a bit optimistic. We're the best team by far, no. I've told the players that this is a chance for them to go out and make a real statement to everyone else. Yes, let's go make a statement. As you prepare to face. Uh, are you happy? To... Yes, I'm happy. He's been doing a perfectly good job at left back. I have no issues with Subiara. Yes, he's been a bit poor on form recently but overall he's done a decent job torres holds the ball up nicely plays it back of course the arrow is going to have a rough time we have been in poor form so it's understandable he with the rest of the team has been in some poor form but besides that he has been putting in decent effort 
So, Lemo, with Subiara on the overlap, in fact. Plays inside for Riviera, though. Now he plays out wide to Subiara. Can he get a good cross in and prove the doubters wrong? Whips it in. Hernandez, edge of the area. Come on, Hernandez. Good job by Subiara. The man they was questioning how good he has been. And I had faith in him. And that is why I have faith in him, ladies and gents. Lovely cross to the edge of the area. Hernandez runs onto it and gets his first goal of the season. Lovely touch. Lovely shot. Goalkeeper probably should have done a little better. Was at that side of the goal. Didn't dive. But we shall take it. That has got us the opening goal of today's game. And as you can see, it puts us four points clear with them having their game in hand. So, not bad lads. I don't know if I should be praising them though. That's probably not a good idea. I want to, but I'm not going to. I don't want them to get too positive. They might have a little lapse in judgment if I do. So, let's just hold on to what we have. Ganella plays it back to Torres. Torres play it into Ganella. Oh, edge of the area to Gonzalez. Back to Torres once more. Whipping a nice cross, maybe. No, hits the defender. Gonzalez has collected it, though. We're still in possession. Now with Sepulveda. Sepulveda to Hernandez. Now with Riviera. We know Riviera is a decent player. Plays it out wide to Gonzalez. Lovely cross. Ganella can't get onto it. But Riviera collects the ball once more. Coming down this left-hand side, cuts inside nicely. Unfortunately, dispossessed, though. It's now with Munoz on the counter-attack for them, who plays it back to... Yeah, I'm not even going to try that one. I'm not even going to try that name. But Ren Dondo plays it back to Paredes now. Now whips in across, and that's a lovely goal by Avalos. Lucky for us, it is disallowed. It was nicely slotted away, though. I will give him that. Let's have a little look at this one. Yes, he was offside by quite a bit. It wasn't a narrow thing, but as you can see, that finish. Not a bad little finish. I will give him props for that one. Valdo plays it out to San Huesa. San Huesa now to Torres. Torres coming down this right-hand side. Will he play it to Gonzalez? No. Inside to Hernandez. Hernandez now crossfield ball to Riviera. Riviera American lovely run down the middle. Can he get a shot off? No. Free ball to Ganella. And it's a second, ladies and gents. That is, of course, Juan Martin Ganella's 10th goal of the season. Assisted by Manuel Riviera. And we are making a good fight of this relegation survival now, lads. This is looking good. If we can hold on to this victory here, we will be in a good position. Of course, our second game of today's episode is going to be a vital two, because I believe it's against... No, we played Concepcion in the last game. Who was it? I want to say it's them. I believe it's against 11th place at the moment. But that is the first half, and as you can see, we dominated it. 2-0 going into half time, 7 shots to 1, 5 on target to 0, 2 fouls to their 11, 0 yellow cards, 0 yellow cards, 69% position to 31. Now, our best performer was Oscar Hernandez, 1 goal and 7.6 to River Riveros, who got a 6.7 for them, and no reason for it. Now, struggling to perform is Lemo, unfortunately. Very up and down player Lemo. He's either really good or really bad. And today he's having one of his off games. He's got a 6.6 .6 and a 0% crossing completion ratio. On the other side is Rendondo. He's got a 0% crossing completion ratio and a 6.4. So without further ado, let's go talk to Jorge. Who thinks we should let the team know we appreciate their efforts. You know what? I do. Keep it going, lads. I'm going to give them a bit of praise. Get their morale up because we've been trailing down near the bottom. The lads need a bit of a pickup. Lemo, you've not been doing so great. But you know what? I'm going to give you a bit more time. You've got till the 65th, 60th, round that area to show us what you can do. And if not Lemo, then you can be substituted off. Ganella is looking a little bit tired though. So I might take Ganella off just simply so he is rested up for the next game. So we shall do that now. Because Marino is a solid guy. He can go and do... You know what, Marino? How are you as a target man? Let's check your credentials as a target man. You're a wimp, so that doesn't help. But besides being a bit of a wimp, Marino's pretty goddamn good. So, Marino, you can go be a target man. I'm not even going to put you as a poacher. You can stay as a target man. Um, Lopez, though. Lopez, you can come on for the struggling Lemo. And that will be our double substitution. As you can see, everyone else is having a solid game. And I want to hold on to that substitute in case we pick up another injury. Because 
that last game got me kind of worried about injuries now. Let's, you know, we're in the 70th minute. Lads, I'm giving you some praise. Good job. We've not conceded. We've scored two goals and it is 15 minutes remaining on the clock. So, we have a throw in deep in the half. It's with Riviera. Plays in Torres. Back to Riviera. Nice cross. Doesn't get to anyone though. Edge of the area with Sepulveda though. Sepulveda. Lovely goal by Sepulveda. Our central defensive mid gets his first goal of the season. Pushes up and what a beauty it was. Let's have another look at that strike from the edge of the area. So as you can see, Riviera Torres, 1-2 from the throwing. Cross doesn't get to anyone, but the header away was poor. Sepulveda picks it up and smashes it into the bottom corner. Not bad at all. 3-0 victory. And well, that's done wonders for our goal difference. We are only one goal down on Everton if it comes down to goal difference. So that is always nice to see. Marino though plays it to Lopez. Lopez to Subiara. Subiara nicely crosses it. Fernandez can't get it though. He is dispossessed. They are now in possession through Escobar, not Pablo. Plays it back to Arandondo. Actually, I don't know. He might be a Pablo. We should find that one out. But first, we should pay attention to the game because they know it's God. So, um, where are you, Escobar? No, it's C. Escobar. It's Carlos Escobar. So we don't have to worry about Pablo running about today. But it is all over. And as you can see, they did pick it up a little bit in the second half. But we managed to hold on. 12 shots to 8. 8 on target to their 6. 4 fouls to 24. They had the problem we've been having for most of the season. Looks like we've fixed it on our end, hopefully. And, well, it has gone and paid off for us. 0 yellow cards, 1 yellow card. 66% six, six position to their 34. Our best performer was Sepulveda with that one goal and an 8.6. But then was Paradas with a 100% tackle one ratio and a 6.7. Now, Lemo was our struggling performer. He got a 6.7. Not bad for our worst performer. 0% cross and completion. And for them was Kiate with a 6.3 and no reason for it. And as you can see, well, we have a lot of milestones, including some first goals, etc. So feel free to pause it and go through them if you are interested. Or in fact, just put it at half speed because I went through that nice and slowly. You should be okay with that. But the play of the match, of course, is Sepulveda with that 8.6 and a goal. Narrowly behind him, though, Sobiara had a solid game and Hernandez also had a solid 8 plus game. Oh, hey, thanks for letting the team know we appreciate their efforts. And I do indeed. I'm passionately going to tell them. Well done, lads. Very pleased with the result and your performance. You put in a survival fight, and that is what we love to see around here. So, quality of possession proved victory, and there is the 33-year-old putting in his wonderful performance. As you can see, though, we are going to equitquee. A quickie? A quickie. A quickie. We're just going to call him a quickie. Yes, we're going for a quickie in Chile in seven days time so i will see you at their stadium in just a second okay ladies and gents welcome to the tierra campedions for our second game of today's episode now this lovely 12,000 seat stadium in game is actually 13,000 seater now as you'll see from the middle of the pitch we do have a goal to move before we start today's game but we are going to get that moved have a little bit of a run out and then i will see you fine folks for the kickoff in just a second Okay, ladies and gents, it is, of course, kickoff time in our second game of today's episode. And as you can see, we have the triumphant return of Daniel. But unfortunately, he is still a little bit injured. He's on about 80% conditioning, so he's probably going to have to be substituted around that 60th minute. But he is a key part of the team, so he is back in the lineup today. And, well, there is only one other change. And as you might have noticed... That is to our backup goalkeeper. So we have Castillon on the bench. That is because Lara has a reoccurring shoulder dislocation, which I found really weird because he's only 24 years old. But me being me, I sent him to a specialist. So hopefully that can be sorted out for him. But without further ado, let's go talk to Jorge and see what he has to say. So Mr. Jorge, he thinks we should challenge the team to pick up where they left off. Now, we are away from home, so you know what? Passionately, I don't fully expect us. Where the underdogs is, that's it. Go on, cause an upset. 
We're very marginally the underdogs. I believe it is like I want to say we're like twelve to five compared to like eleven to five or so. It's some weird odd. We're out by like one. They are favourites, but not by a long way. So we have a good chance. And Fabian Edder is back to talk to us from Goal Publication, an enthusiastic fellow who has no relationship with us, even though he's interviewed us quite a bit. So, Deportes Puerto Montt suffered defeat the last time they met. Deportes Quickie. How will that affect the team's mentality ahead of this game? Well, I don't think I was there for the last one. I might be wrong. That might have been one of the early games, but I don't remember playing them. So, the lads have been looking forward to this one for a while. They're looking sharp in training and very much up for the game. We got to this. Yeah, show them what we're really capable of. So, your team selection has offered little by way of surprise today. Are you confident ahead of kickoff? Well, I wouldn't have picked the guys if I didn't have confidence in their ability. My team picks itself, it's a very strong team. So, you've left Gutierrez out, is that due to recent injury problems? No, it's because we have a better left back and he doesn't really fit our backup for on the bench. So, enough seconds. Uh, it's just being rested. They always like to hear that. So, I just tell them he's being rested. He's not, but <laughs> he's been rested long term, perhaps for the rest of the season. He's on a bit of a holiday. But for now, Riviera throws it into Ganella. Ganella comes past one, plays it to Hernandez. Space. Oh, come on, Hernandez. Beautiful goal by Hernandez. That's his second of the season. And it's come very early. Three minutes, in fact. Just under. Two minutes, 52, I want to say. Let's have a look when this goes in. Okay, 2.46, 2.47-ish. Not a bad little start to the game. Beautiful strike by Hernandez. And we are off to a cracker here. So, they have the ball now on the right-hand side. And, well, they are going for a quick counter. Unfortunately, though, we've intercepted it. Subiara gets it to Sepulveda. Sepulveda plays it back to Becerra. Becerra now to Hernandez, the goal scorer, of course. Playing it out wide to Daniel. Coming back in the team after his injury. Can I get a nice cross in here? Goes alone. I love the man, but he really is a greedy player. They have a corner, though. Whipped in, and that's a pretty quick equaliser. Lovely header by Montreal, getting his 13th goal of the season. And, well, we are level within 10 minutes. Very action-packed game we have today. Don't know who that is on the front, uh, far post. So we are. Okay, so the media actually have something to have a go at Sobiara for this time. Because I would have thought he would have reacted. Didn't affect his rating, though, surprisingly. That's going to impact the ballers, though. Back-to-back -back corners, back-to-back -back goals, and now we are 2-1 down after 12 minutes. I'm rather disappointed in that. So, cheer some passion, lads, because that is rather pathetic. And, well, it gives the other two a chance to catch up if we go and throw away today's game, which it looks like we are doing. So, we are, in fact, going to go attacking. We're not going to get as desperate as going very attacking yet. As you can see, we have been the better side, besides the two corners. So, we should really be doing a little bit better. Ganella, though. Ganella plays it back out to Riviera. Whips one in. Headed away. Hernandez, edge of the area. We know he can be deadly here. Plays it out wide to Torres, though. Whips it back into Lemo. Lemo! He can't keep his header down. Lemo. Why? Please, please, Lemo. I would like to man more. Ganella, I'm fu furious too. I know I'm putting some pressure on you, but, like, lads, pick it up. We need some good efforts here. So, as you can see, we are 2 1 down, and it's very much against the run of play. They've had four shots, and we've had 14. Three on target to our six, four fouls to our three. Zero yellow cards, zero yellow cards, but 9% possession to 61. Their best performer has been Monreal with those two goals and an 8.7 so far. For us is Oscar Hernandez, 97% passing completion ratio and an 8.2. Now struggling to perform is Bravo. He's got two offsides and 6.3. And Sanhuesa, he's got a 6.1 and one mistake that led to a goal. I would also argue... Uh, so we are. 
has one mistake that led to a goal when he didn't react on the back post. But Jorge thinks we team let the should let the team know we appreciate that effort. I don't know why that was such a tongue twister for my brain just then, but it was. Assertively, um, I expect to see a bad performance in the second half, lads. I am not happy with that at all. In fact, Daniel, Gonzalez is going to come on for you because you're clearly struggling out on that wing. And he's going to drop to being a winger because he prefers to be a winger. Serving inside forward. So we shall make that alteration to the team. Hope Sam Huizer actually picks up his game and gets off that 6.1 so we don't have to substitute him. And then maybe substitute Riviera. He's having a rough game today. Fernandez whips it in. It is over the bar. And with that, we are going to go very attacking because I'm worried. We need to get things turned around pretty quickly. And Hernandez with a free kick. Can we do that? No, it is cleared away. They are now on the counter attack. And can we get a tackle in? Please stick a foot in. Somebody. Nito, though, plays it all the way back to Tapia. Tapia. Tries a ball over the top, intercepted by Sam Fraser though, headed down for Lemo. Lemo tries to get up to Ganella, it's headed down to Hernandez though. Plays it across field to Lemo, Lemo got plenty of space on this left hand side, also has help if he needs. Doesn't know, whipped it into Gonzalez. Lovely goal by Gonzalez, comes off the bench and gets us an equaliser. It is 2-2 and his first goal of the season. That does mean we are going to drop... Yeah, we'll go positive. I don't want to go... And drop two attacking. Because you know what? We have been the more dominant team. So if we just stick with positive. Now we should hopefully pull this game back. As long as we don't give away too many corners. Because they seem to be pretty darn good at their set pieces. So it's with Nito. Somebody tackle them please. Don't let them pass it around. Tapia on the halfway line. Plays it back to Padilla. Padilla tries ball over top. Nice one. Sabiara gets it down to Lemo. Lemo on the wing. Holding up the ball nicely, whips one across to Ganella. Ganella has space and a player in Gonzalez. Gonzalez goes alone though, and aye aye aye. Gonzalez, I know you got a goal, but you don't need to be getting overconfident. That was rather pathetic. So as you can see, we Sandwaser has been picking it up. So you know what? I'm going to trust in Sandwaser. Probably a bad idea, but I'm going to trust in him. He's picked up his game. Same with Riviera though. Riviera is struggling in terms of fitness though. So you know what? Bezar, come on. Or Riviera. We'll leave you. Actually, how are you as a box to box? Can you perform in that role reasonably well? You've got pretty much everything you need. Off the ball isn't great. Finishing, well, hopefully he's not going to be taking too many long shots. So the finishing and the long shots aspect Shouldn't be too much to worry about, and yeah, we shall make that substitution, play him in that role, and we should be okay. I am going to... It's probably a bit of a risk here, looking at how everyone's feeling, but I'm going to give him some praise. To come back into this... Okay, that overwhelmed them. I should just keep my mouth shut. Story of my life, ladies and gents. Just keep my mouth shut in future. But Torres... Plays it to Gonzalez on this right hand side, inside to Hernandez, who gets it out to Torres once more. Torres plays it back into Hernandez, does have Gonzalez, but plays it to Bezar. Bezar tries to get it over the wing, but doesn't get it to anyone. It, they are now in position with Fernandez. Tapia holding up the ball for them, plays it back to Padilla. Padilla is getting hunted down though by Ganella, and they have just played out of trouble. Intercepted by Torres on the halfway line though. Sepulveda plays it to Bezar. Bezar back to Sepulveda once more. Hernandez plays it over to Gonzalez on this right hand side. Cuts in. Can he get a goal? He has. Gonzalez, you beautiful man. You have got us into the lead after that lovely tying goal. He's got his second goal of the season and two very important ones here today. Assisted by Oscar Hernandez, of course. Johnny Gonzalez. Lovely finish. As you can see, the goalkeeper was on that side of the goal, but it was too near to the post for him to do anything about. And, well, the lads have picked up their game. As you can see, we have even moved an extra point up the league. So, they are in possession. We just need to hold out for the four minutes remaining and any additional time. Intercepted by Torres. Good job. Gonzalez holds up the ball nicely. Now, just bend the clock, lads. Plays it back to San Huizer. Hoops it up for Ganella. Ganella one-on-one with the goalkeeper. This is a lovely option. Oh. 
he was offside. That would have been a lovely chance for us there. But we have four minutes free. We're passed by a whole minute. Come on. Let's go, lads. We have made it. We have won. We've brought it back through the magic of Gonzalez coming off the bench. 3-2 in the end. And, well, you can say we deserved it, looking at the match statistics. They had seven shots. We had 24. Three on target to our 10. Seven fouls to our 11. So our fouls did pick up in this game, which is rather disappointing. Zero yellow cards, zero yellow cards, though. And Ferdinand's own possession to our 61. Monreal. Did a great job for them. He got a brace in the first half, but then didn't do a whole lot. Gonzalez, though, our super sub. He also got himself a brace and an 8.7. So, struggling to perform was Nito. He got a 6.3 for them and 0% crossing completion ratio. And Ariel Daniel for us. 6.4, coming back from that injury. I can't really give him too much stick for that. But as you can see, there was a few different milestones. In fact, him scoring that brace, just to point out, and he's gold drought, so he can at least be happy with his performance today, although a couple of their defenders, not so much. But as you can see, the player of the match did go to Monreal in the end, which, honestly, Gonzalez came on as a sub. I would have thought he would have got player of the match, but that's the way the game works, ladies and gents. Jorge thinks we should let the team know we appreciate their efforts, though, and I do indeed. Let's passionately tell them what a comeback, superb effort, especially you, Gonzalez. I really appreciate the effort you put in to bring us back into today's game. So, as you can see, we have moved up to 13th place. Only on goal difference, mind you, but that is still pretty darn good. And in fact, as you can see, there is a bit of a gap now. Seven point gap, and yeah, they do have a game in hand. So, there's potential for all three of these teams to catch up, and them specifically in 14th to leapfrog us. But we are looking a bit safer going into this double header. Now, first game, I don't expect much in the next episode in the first game, as we versus Italiano, who are currently third in the league. But that is a big game. The bottom of the league, La Serena game at home, is going to be a very important one to finish tomorrow's... Tomorrow's? The next episode. <laughs> tomorrow's episode is not going to be a football manager game video so anyways before i carry on my ramble i hope you enjoyed today's episode i hope you all have a lovely night and goodbye